Tie game in the bottom of the seventh inning. Jazz Chisholm steps up to the plate, and this breakdown is brought to you by the shop at johnboymedia.com. We got every postseason team covered. Go check them out. Now, Jazz is going to take the first pitch. It's a fastball. Strike at the knees. He's like, you sure? Yeah. Curveball, second pitch, says bam. Single. And I'm going to steal second because I'm fast. And that's something you guys are just going to have to worry about. Cha-ching. All right? Jazz has stolen a lot of bases this year. He's fast. It's a full count. Volpe strikes out. He steals. Is it a hit and run? What is it? Is he out? Is he safe? The throw beat him. Witt is like, let's challenge. Salvi's upset about it. They go to the phone. He says, uh, challenge. Yeah, challenge. Yeah. And this is the replay. It's very bizarre. What are we looking at? The heel gets in there, but the glove is already on. Is that what we're looking at? To me, it looks like the glove hits him there. And up top, it looks like he hasn't hit the base yet. So I thought, and the announcers thought, and everyone thought, they were going to overturn this and say, out. This was the shot they showed on the broadcast. I've zoomed in a little more than they did. But you can see that when the glove touches his ankle, there's still daylight between him and the base. I don't think he's touching. The base kind of shifts when the foot connects, and that does it there. You know, later on, there's more ground to cover. You can tell, like, if you can't tell there because the bottom might be touching, it seems that as is foot slides more that means there was more ground to cover going forward that way so i thought they were going to call him out for sure because i thought yeah even the announcer that's daylight right there so royals coach is watching it and he's thinking the same thing but after review the call on the field stands the runner is safe. yeah and now he's shaking his head and i was shaking my head with glee but it felt guilty and he's shaking his head and the announcers can't believe it well, they can feel whatever they want to feel, but it's a wrong call. <laughs> they can feel whatever they want to feel, but it's a wrong call. That was the second time today we had an announcer say that about an MLB replay decision. Trey Turner got picked off here by the Mets, or did he? That's where they paused it on the broadcast, and if you pause it right there, that shows him being out. Now, the call on the field was safe, so they have to have indisputable evidence to overturn that. And if you've ever watched my breakdowns over the course of a season, what normal people think indisputable evidence is and what MLB considers it, I guess sometimes it's two different things. But this one is interesting. So up top is when the glove hits his leg. And is the glove hitting his leg there? I'm not sure if it is. He's out because his hand isn't touching the base yet. But if you keep going forward, you see the glove really start to bend right there on his leg. So maybe he wasn't touching his leg earlier. And if I go backwards now a couple frames, when does the glove touch the plate? Right there, I guess they could say, but it does look like gloves bent. I don't know. This is what I think he's way out. I, I can't see it any other way. If you can see it a different way, let me know. But I, that just looks way out to me. And everyone's looking at it. The Mets are like, eh, Trey's looking at it a little like, uh-oh. The catcher's looking at it, and he's calling him out. Like, yeah, this is great. And the announcers are saying the same thing. But then the ump talks. After review, the call in the field stands. The runner is safe. He's out. He's I don't out. know what we're looking at. What are we, please somebody tell me what we're looking at? He's out. So we had two announcers just straight up be like, what? I disagree. They got it wrong. And then we had a third instance of a very similar play in the Dodgers game when Freddie Freeman, sprained ankle and all, decided he was going to steal second and he flops and flails around. They call him safe. Now, this one's real weird because he, he goes off the base. He comes back on the base. He goes off the base again. He's on the base there, okay? And then he's off the base right there. He's overslids it. And right there, I don't think he's touching it. And then... We have the glove go on his shoulder right there. You see, the glove is now touching, but his leg's touching, so he's safe. But the glove is held onto his body up there, and as he's reaching back with his right hand, his foot and leg come off. Like right there, it looks like nothing's touching. 
maybe not in the context of the freeze frame, but when you roll it and see the leg coming off and the glove coming back on, the glove touches right there, right? Okay, glove touches there. So before that, the glove is off right there and the leg is off because the leg is on right there. So that had a lot of Padres fans excited that they were going to overturn this and call them out. And we have another view right there. And knowing what we know, you can just see the glove is on and then the leg pops off right there and the glove still isn't, the blue glove isn't on the base yet. This one's crazy. <clears throat> I don't even understand what I'm seeing really. Freddie's getting bent in ways... I don't think he should be getting bent. Here's another view. All right, right there, he overslides, but the glove's not on. Now his foot is back on, the helmet's falling, the tag's on, and right there, right there, he's off, right? I don't know. The foot is off, the hand's off, the glove's on the shirt. You can see the wrinkle. I don't know. This one is, is very weird. I don't know what I'm looking at. Here's another angle of it. And right there is where it looks like his hand's not touching, his foot's not touching, and the glove is on his jersey. But after review, the ruling on the field stands. The runner is safe. And on that one, the, the announcers didn't straight up come and say, well, they got that wrong. But they did say, I guess it was indisputable. I guess. That's what they said, basically. Anyway, in the Trey Turner one and the Freddie Freeman one, it didn't come into play. The runner did not continue to score. The inning did not get out of hand. In the Yankees game, Jazz got to stay on second base with two outs in a tie game in the seventh inning. And two batters later, Verdugo comes up and he takes that pitch and throws it into left field in front of the left fielder. And Jazz is just flying and he scores the go-ahead run, runs into the ump. Go ahead, Ron. Runs into the ump and Boone just, did you touch home? You touch home? Boone immediately just yelling, did you touch home plate? Huh? And it does. It is tricky. He did touch it like with his heel. That that angle doesn't show it. Runs into the ump and you can see Jazz hear, hears Boone. He goes, yeah, yeah, I touched. Don't worry about it. And then Verdugo, the hero. Let's go. Jazz pointing him out. They combined for some fun today. And then Cole giving Verdugo his love. Yeah, let's go. Everyone giving Verdugo his, lo his love because he got benched towards the end of the season. They were they called up a rookie to try and replace him. He he gets the start. He comes through. He's like, let's go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yup. And like I said, this breakdown is brought to you by shop.johnboymedia.com. And if you're interested in a jazz shirt on our store, all you got to do is listen to the man himself explain why it's so cool. Talk about the togetherness of this team. Well, the team's right there on the t-shirt. That's pretty cool, my friend. Yeah, yeah. I feel like they, they incorporated my my favorite anime with my team, you know. I talk about these guys so much, like Cole, Stan, Judge, Soto. I talk about these guys so much, you know. One Piece is my favorite thing. The main thing about One Piece is togetherness to go find this treasure and that's what we're about to do we're about to go together and win the championship and that's our treasure you know well so. fans fans are really helps i know you have a lot to do before first pitch tomorrow thank you so much for taking the time of course all right subscribe see ya